Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Power BI release May 2025 as part of Catch Up with Nax series. As usual, uh, I'm not going to talk about all the releases uh, features um, that Power BI has come up. Uh, in this month, they have released tons of uh, announcements, uh, tons of features actually related to AI. Let's try to uh, list down what are my favorites in this release. So AI get your data AI ready meaning like uh, power bi data sets uh, which has a vast variety of data or something that is uh, irrelevant to AI that will confuse AI. so there is a lot of features we need to do uh, prepare your data for the AI, right so i will walk you through uh, in the website the next feature i like the most it's translatical task flow meaning like it's transactional as well as analytical task flow Using this, you can do many operations. One of the greatest operation is like uh, write back into your database and it will reflect in your Power BI reports immediately. That is the most interesting feature. And also you can trigger notifications or emails, approvals, all other workflows, right? So this is possible right now. And customize line segment in colors. It is the cool feature. Like when there is a dip, you can uh, highlight it in red. Then there is a spike, you can highlight it in green. Timdel view enhancements. There are a lot of enhancements. This is the future basically because uh, uh, if you have uh, to develop uh, multiple reports instead of manually developing it, or if you are doing any migration, you need to go for Timdel view. This enhancement will help us to. Uh, speed up the process direct like relationship improvements earlier once you do the relationship uh, it will not detect um, one to many uh, because uh, there is some uh, issues over there once you start using direct click now it has also been improved with this note let's begin our today's topic and this channel contains a free content that covers msbi power bi fundamentals of azure Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's begin. So we are in Power BI. As you can see, there are tons of uh, features released as part of this month. Let's not dig into everything as I pointed out. Let's go uh, whatever relevant or whichever features I like. So get your data AI ready. AI is uh, evolving, AI is real. So we need to start preparing for the AI, right? So what are the things you need to prepare? AI data schema, verified answers, AI instructions. What are those? So if you see this icon here in the May 2025, you will start seeing the prepared data for AI. So once you click on this, you can have the AI data schema. What it does, you can ignore, uncheck whatever uh, columns that is irrelevant. That is one thing. Then you can uh, do some verified answers like this is another important aspect of it you can see here set up as a verified answer so to create verified answer uh, basically what you need to do is surface curated visuals and content to deliver more precise content aware answers especially for non or uh, frequently asked question see basically once you start creating some reports right and you can make it as set up as a verified answer okay so once you do that what will happen is from this it can be like a stamp uh, it can be like um, uh, AI should not think whether it is correct or not right so you are approving it this is the correct answer for this particular questions this is what you are saying about verified answer then there comes um, a instructions so this is another important aspect of it. Let's say like business context and interpretation. See, what do you mean by busy season, right? Busy season for each business is different. So you can add your business context over uh, in this section, like April to November is considered as busy season and our company specializes in financial analytics frame insights around the risk assessment and market trends basically if someone asks financial analytics you cannot give p and l trial balance all the things ai knows for your business these are the uh, critical things is meaningful to the financial analytics you can specify the ai instructions 
right so exclude data that is part-time students these are some of the exclusions also rules you can define so basically you are giving some uh, semantic meaning or uh, some instructions that is specific to your business so these are very important when you try to implement a solutions in your organization right so this is the uh, one i want to uh, highlight about then let's move on to the next one translatic uh, task flows what do you mean by that see you have a data and you want to update certain columns here or a particular value earlier what you need to do the application you need to do and then you have to come back now there is a future in the uh, power bi uh, where you can use the buttons to uh, enter text box actually text box and the button features once you click on that the buttons allows you to trigger the uh, translatical functions right then it will uh, write those data into your database once it is done if you are using the direct query then this will immediately reflect so this is one of the fantastic feature a lot of people uh, start liking it so we will explore it soon now moving on to other features uh, that i highlighted um, earlier um, we will say like this one right i mean um, highlighter customized line segment colors in the line chart if you see here there is a dip you can have a red in color and when there is a spike you can highlight it in the green this is the new property you can uh, how you can choose in the line property in the visual you can choose a particular category member then i can highlight it with this color i prefer it should be a more dynamic i'm not sure uh, whether it is possible right now maybe in the future uh, because if it is uh, changes over different period right this will uh, not be effective at that time so let's see uh, how it evolves now apart from that um, one of the other future i like the most is like uh, you need to define the um, wha wha what is that timdel view right you can see here you can do the formatting and you can also have um, some lineages it, it will try to highlight some errors also so right now they implemented intellisense so this will uh, help us to fix any issues that has been done in the timdel view and finally let me talk about uh, this direct like relationship improvements if you are not started working on the fabric i hope you are not aware of it direct like is the uh, standard storage i mean one lake is the standard storage for fabric direct like connection is from power bi you are directly connecting to uh, the one lake connection so earlier there is some issues in the relationship now it has been improved meaning like it automatically detects uh, the one to many relationship based on the data but data data won't be shown here but it will automatically detect so i hope uh, these are the uh, things that one should know about those who are following in my channel if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your